for two to three thousand dollars now. You might find they were used by somebody for like five hundred dollars. But the ones I saw when I typed the the question in the internet, two books were being sold, one for twenty four hundred dollars and the other for twenty eight hundred dollars. A freaking book that only cost thirty dollars back in nineteen eighty five when it was or ninety two when he when he was uh, put out. They didn't make that many copies of it. Nobody knew about it until the video came up by the Disclosure Project by Dr. Greer. And that's after that they tried to poison Dr. Bergroom. So, you can take it in different ways, but uh, that Dr. Greer, I used to support him. Now I don't think I am, I am in the place to really trust him and his bullshit that we should connect with this really easy to talk to entities. Those entities that he's talking about that come in orbs, those are bad, bad, bad shit. When you see orbs, wrong for the hill, bro, wrong like hell because you're talking about reptilian shit and bad negative energy. They will attach to your ass and cause problems in you. The good entities don't show up in little orbs and shit like that. And they don't show up on, on demand. You know, like you call 911 and they appear in your doorstep. Nah. And the first thing you should do is stop eating meat. That degrades your biology and degrades your aura. You are adoring the temple of death, which is one of the, the things that dark entities feed of the suffering of animals. These are all the plates, photograph, and representations. And put a, he's gonna put a picture, this picture at the end that is kick ass. That is from the moon, Mar, Mare Oriental. That's where the huge vehicle left the mark and it left that cavity that looked like a reptile head. Check this out. There are all kinds of structures inside that dump that raised a structure and that was it's like it bubble up and then you see the two eyes of a of a demonic looking face right there. Look at that. Then you see tubes and you see structures and you see all kinds of stuff. Turn the 
the camera sideways and so give you another perspective of that thing. Look at that huge tube that goes on in, in, in the dark area and look all the structures that are inside. So that's why I know that when those vehicles do what they do, do the burning and all the things, they're just bowling up structures in the shape that they wanted to. And you can see all the shape of designs. That's how they do their design on the surface of things. They don't build that shit like putting, you know, blocks and shit. It's all made from the surface of the area. It's all built from the, it's a solid deal. I mean, there are no, no seams, no, no, you know, blocks or, or plaques, you know, plates. No, no, no. This is a one solid shit. Smooth as it can be glassy. All made from the surface being bubbled up by the high plasma temperature. Look at that, all the, it's a perfect hexagon, but it has structures everywhere, and those structures are, like I say, functional uh, things. It's a, a space created by applying the major two currents, one on the top and one underneath the surface to bubble up and raise the ground to form a cavity in the shape that they desire. Incredible, man, what a technology. Look at that little statue here on the end, on the outer ring of it. Second, so you get to use this thing. Ah, there you go. To move the the image up and down. Oh shit. See whose statue is that. There it is. Check it out.
There's somebody statue of some kind of reptile looking guy with the eyes on the side of the head. And he has a smaller statue right next to it. structure right there we dark in there wow man that is amazing check it out Look at this structure right here. Where is it at? Check it out. All of that was created when the vehicle D applied that plasma energy. He created the whole thing like by magic. That's amazing, man. How can they grab the material and heat it up and create all these structures in a matter of minutes? That's all it probably took. Voila! Blast of electromagnetic energy and voila! It was created with that kind of technology you can fabricate an entire planet in no time it won't take but a day maybe just think about the immense power of these vehicles capable of creating a structure, towers and shit like that that you think that they were built individually. No, that was done at once you, for a long area. They must have a computer that has the, already the design and shit. Along that is faces and I mean, oh my God, it's just, I cannot even think because all well, the structure I have seen, the sculpture structures are just are amazing. It's just, you think about how can somebody build something. It's, it wasn't built the way we think. It was applied heat, plasma energy applied on, on top of the surface and underneath. To soften the surface, they apply the immense heat and then they apply current, low density current underneath to create the patterns that they desire. Like in this case right here, look, look at this. Look at all this complexity in layers and steps and all that, all that shit that's in a computer program did all of that using the like i said the high plasma on top to to kind of liquefy the the surface and then the other current goes under the surface and raise the the thing and harden it all done with electromagnetic energy just look at that shit this is the maximum it gets enlarged look at that too that is transparent on top of that goes into here and there are all these structures in the dark look. It's all incredible, complex, very complex things. <laughs>